Hola, soy Fais. Mucho gusto. Hey guys, welcome to Artist of Blender. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create a flag waving in the wind using Blender 2.9. So this video is having five parts. In the first part, I will cover the setup. In the second, flag shape. In the third, collisions. In the fourth, force field. And in the fifth, textures. So first of all, delete this cube, then press Shift A and load up a cylinder. Shrink it and then scale it at Z axis. Now add a plane and rotate it on Y axis. Scale it and move it up to this position. Press tab for model. Press A to select all and subdivide. Click this and give it about 34 cards. Now go to wireframe preview. Select the top three vertices. And then with holding shift select the bottom ones. Now click this tab. And add vertex screw. Click assign. You can name this group as a flag. And click this to add a modifier. Click here and choose a cloth. Now this plane is a cloth. You can see when I play the animation, cloth goes down. But we don't want that. We actually want this to stay pinned on those six vertices that we selected. So let's solve that. Scroll down and here you can see a tab named Shape. Click Pin Group and select that vertex group named Flag. And here. Now you can see when I play the animation, it's pinned to those vertices. <laughs> but here. We have two more problems. The first one is that you can see that the flag is not colliding on the pole, the cylinder, like there is no pole when it is. The second problem is that you can see the flag is also not colliding on itself too. We have to solve both the problems. So let's solve the first one. Select the cylinder and enable a collision modifier for it. And now you can see it's solved. Oh wait! It's very rough. So right click on the flag and choose shade smooth. Scroll down in the physics pane and here you can see a tab named collisions. Click this and from here check the self collisions. And now the problems are solved. Now our flag is ready but there is something that we're not going to like. You can see that the flag is not waving in the wind. It's just going downwards like there is no wind at all. So let's solve that. Press Shift A, click Force Wheel and choose Wind. Now you can see Force Wheel, which is a wind in the viewport. Move it upwards. Increase the strength to about 1500. Now rotate it at Y axis to some limits. Here we got a little problem. The wind is so fast. So decrease the strength a little bit. Now the flag is waving in the wind.
if you want to see any color of an object in the viewport first thing that you should always do is to go to material preview now the colors and textures of the objects will show so first click the pole and go to material properties tab click new and click this white color and then from here choose indigo now click the sphere and repeat the same method now the flag is not going to have a color like a blue or red solid colors but instead it is going to be a texture texture is an image mapped for a mesh you can't use any flag image for the texture but i can give you this capture this and use it easily so now click the flag and in the material properties click this ball icon and choose image texture click open and choose your image even after selecting an image for the flag it's not fitting it and so it's not looking real so for fixing that you have to go to its uv editings in this tab hit a and now you can see its textures and vertices on the left side move the cursor to the left and hit a again now you can see that the problem is solved Hey wait, don't leave yet, I want to show you something. You can see this amazing realistic oval style, wow. I created this while using Blender 2.9 and I am going to make a tutorial video on how you can make it and I will also give you textures to snap it like I did in this video. So you better subscribe this channel and click on that bell icon so don't leave without subscribing. Which is dresses.